Jules Whale and I have the privilege of writing for these magazines. So this Focus magazine, the June edition of the Verwood version and the Ringwood version. So in the Ringwood version, we are on page 22 of the June edition and the page 30 of the June edition of Verwood. And Jules talks about magic as we focus on wellness and I talk about feeling more alive. So I've come down here somewhat uh, strangely to a churchyard where you might associate with being dead <laughs> to talk about how can we feel more alive. And in the article, I talk about the seven aspects of any living organism, that includes plants as well as animals. They all share seven things in common as signs of life. And my idea is that if you were to give attention to any one of those seven, then you would feel more alive. But imagine what would happen if you gave committed attention to three of those seven, four of those seven, five of those seven, or all seven of those seven. So let's explore what they are. Number one is movement. I know that seeing my children grow up, when they first began to walk, there was a tangible sense of liberty on their faces as they took those first steps and moved from crawling to walking. Plus, when I passed my driving test, there was that whole new sense of freedom and liberation. Human beings really do associate movement with freedom. So anything we can do to enhance our movement is going to increase our sense of liveliness. Imagine, for example, you were to take up a dance class. As you learned the dance moves, you would feel more alive. Well, how about Tai Chi? If you fancy something a little slower and graceful like that, that will give you an enhanced sense of being alive. And I know that some of my friends who love running sense more vitality as they push themselves to their own limits. So movement is the first sign of being alive. If you want to feel more alive, move more. The second sign of the seven is nutrition. We kind of know you are what you eat. So changing your nutrition might give you a greater sense of vitality or becoming more curious about what you eat might give you a greater sense of being alive. My lovely lady's um, mum never tried, never tried Chinese food because she cleared it up once when she was doing a cleaning job and thought it looked so disgusting she would never try it. She put a program into her mind that denied her the pleasures of Chinese food. And I like Thai cuisine as well. There are distinctive flavors to Indian, Thai, Bangladeshi. It, oh, all these cuisines have their unique signature. And the more you try, the broader your mind and the more alive you will feel. Movement, nutrition, the next sign of being alive is reproduction. I have to be careful here, don't we? But you know what? You have unique talents. And reproduction in the natural sense is about taking your genetic uniqueness, combining it with someone else, and creating an individual who is unique in their own right. I've got three sons who are very, very different. And my grandchildren are all very, very different from one another, even though they come from the same genetic pool. Now, clearly, we're not going to talk about physical reproduction in this kind of video. But I wonder if we could take your talent, the things that you've learned in life, and reproduce those in someone else by training them, by coaching them, by mentoring them. Reproducing excellence. We'll come out with a system that helps people rinse and repeat the success systems that you've come up with. nutrition, reproduction. Excretion is a common factor, a sign of life. Yuck. 
But actually, it's a really, really positive message because I don't know how long you've been on planet Earth, but I've had to deal with a lot of <laughs> And until we learn to deal with the waste products of life, with the excretion of life, and move on cleanly, then um, we tend to repeat the same problematic patterns. You know, if you um, ever leave a job because you can't stand the manager, and people say that people most often leave jobs because of the manager, not the work, you might find that the spirit of that manager possesses someone in the next place you go to work because you haven't dealt with that excretion, that problematic, difficult situation. So learning to deal with stuff is really important. But at a much more basic level, if you've heard of feng shui, the art of clearing in your life, just having a good old tidy up is gonna make you feel more alive. Movement, nutrition, reproduction, excretion, growth. All living things grow. And once you learn something new, or you expand a new area, or you feel like you've grown in maturity or in wisdom, that will help you feel more alive as well. So find something you can learn, something you can learn. Reproduction is like teaching someone else. Growth is about like you learning something and feeling more alive as a result of that. Next one is, re uh, is um, respiration. <sighs> it's a bit more complex than breathing in and out. But I'm fascinated I live in a very, very wealthy area. Not that I'm saying I'm wealthy, but I live in a very, very wealthy area and I've, I, I observe people. I'm sure you're a people observer as well. And it seems as a generalization that the more well-off people come to a certain level, the more selfish they become. It's take, 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 do, re, me, 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 rather than give and take, which is respiration. And then I've met some people who just give, 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 which is like breathing out all the time. Now, if you breathed out all the time, you would cease to be. You would expire as you exhale. So a living organism and feeling more alive is about give and take. Take and give, ebb and flow. Now, you alone know where your heart is in this. Maybe you're too much of a giver. Maybe you learn to, you have to learn to say thank you to people and accept people's kindnesses. And maybe you're too much of a taker at the moment and you need to give something back like a contribution. So we breathe in our oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide as a simplification. Uh, and the plants as a simplification, breathe in that carbon dioxide, they take that carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. That's all. A massive oversimplification because plants do the oxygen carbon dioxide thing as well, but plants clean our air, purify our air, give and take respiration. So see how you can make a fresh contribution somewhere new, but also see how you can accept the gracious gift from other people as well. And the last one is sensitivity. All living organisms are sensitive to their outside environment and also to their internal environment. I was remembering today one of my teachers at school, probably trying to teach me something about my own behaviour, said, uh, empty vessels make the most noise. Have you noticed that when we're younger we make a lot of noise, a lot of noise, and as I've got a lot older I've become quieter and quieter as I'm filled up with reflections on life. So my internal sensitivity is increasing as I think about life and the meaning of life. And I hope I'm not deceived in thinking I've become a better listener to other people as well. So that's that sensitivity, to be aware of the external environment, but also to be aware of ourselves. Now, if we could increase our listening skills, 
and decrease the way we listen to ourselves and make less noise, then that would also lead to a sense of vitality. Let me um, remind you of the seven here. So page 22 of the ringward focus, movement, nutrition, reproduction, excretion, growth, respiration, and sensitivity. If you were to pick one of those, you would feel more alive. If you were to pick three, you feel super alive. If you were to work on all seven, you are going to have an amazing season to come as you expand into enjoying life to the full.